No movement, delays, and feeling stuck. Trying to understand what else you have to do in order for it to move forward. There's a timer, there's a clock over there. Hands is tied. You're hanging upside down. You're compromising everything with regards to your, um, how to say this, your time. Mm -hmm. The hangman is the part where I feel stuck. I don't know what to do in this relationship. Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. How are you guys? My name is Sal. We're going to be doing your reading today. I'm going to be doing it tarot. And um, we're going to be doing your tarot um, and oracle. And then we're going to proceed with the reading. Um, don't forget, guys, we just released our wonderful amulets over here. Okay. And also our lucky charm. Okay. This is the um, Onyx Eye of Protection. We made this ourselves because a lot of people ask me um, for amulets for protection. So there we go. We created this one. It's a red thread. So it's very light. can keep it with you. So do check it out. And our element and red thread bracelet is already out. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Okay. With you feeling stuck. Hmm. We're dealing with the Pisces. Ooh. Five of Wands. Um. So there's a lot of... Um, like, I feel like you're being bombarded uh, right now by things that are like complex in in your connection it's like i don't really understand what's going on um i tried to fix it it didn't we're gonna go for your for your energy first and then your uh, person's energy okay sag so this is your situation first um there's just so much things going on between you and your person well it's more of like them and then you're you're trying and then it it comes out like well that's not my problem you're not saying that but when you have something they go like that's not my problem but when they have a problem you try to help them you understand me so you're the type of person who will be there for your person you get a five one so that's good um but i don't understand why they don't pick up their weight I see them when they're stressed. It's like you try to make them feel like, oh no, don't worry about it, you know. And it's gonna be fine. You're that positive energy around them. But if it's like they like to feel like doom gloom there. They like to feel the doom gloom part, okay? Hmm. Seven of Swords. Right now, what you're thinking is that am I lying to myself or this is not going anywhere? Like, you know that Seven of Swords is here. Like, am I just trying to be there for this person because I'm stuck or... Am I in love or you you got caught up with someone's life. You don't know how to get out of it. Cause you, you got stuck helping and then now you're saying it's like, well, I don't know how to unstuck myself here. And you keep believing it's like no, it's gonna get better at some point, it's gonna get better. This is what you're saying to yourself, seven of swords, three five points. It will get better. It will get better. So that optimistic side of you, okay, seven of swords, with the five of wands. Hmm. 
Because you're claiming here that what can I do? It's like there's nothing I can do here but just hope. That's why you're in the hangman. Constantly hoping and thinking that things will go better. Okay. Mm-hmm. For the power of love. That's that one. Okay. The lovers. The seven of swords. Because I love this person. See, I told you. You got stuck in love with a person. And you're trying to think of a way to unstuck yourself. You didn't plan on staying this long, I feel, such, Or you didn't see that, okay, this person has a lot of baggage. A lot of baggage. Okay. But then you fall in love with them already. Like, you cannot just stop loving someone. I'm here. I'm committed. They're going through challenges in their life. You know. What I'm seeing here is like you're getting, you're allowing them to do things to you. Because one, you love them. Yes, that's fine. But you're also thinking, it's like, I have no other choice. I'm stuck in, like, you know, like a loveless marriage, but you still love them. I don't know. Okay, it's not a loveless marriage. And you guys are married or you guys are in a relationship. The connection is there, but there's just so much drama and issues. But then I just can't leave my person, so. Be hmm. Gemini. Five of Pentacles. You just can't leave your person. But you're weary here. That this is not gonna last long. Five of Pentacles is leaving you with nothing. You could be helping your person financially as a Five of Pentacles. Um, you give it all to a point where you're sabotaging yourself. Like you always put their needs ahead, their needs ahead, their needs ahead. Money, love, attention. That's how much you compromise with the hangman. You now don't have nothing. Five Pentacles. So you are, I feel like, crazy in love with your person. Mm -hmm. Let's see your person. See, you're scared to lose them also. Five Pentacles with the lovers. Wow, your person ate the cups right here. Hmm. Your person has left ate the cups. Um, emotionally detached. When they don't want to talk, they, they, they just shut down over here. They're always stubborn even though they need help. They would refuse to get help. They would claim that they can find. I can, you know, I'm fine. I do this on my own. I got this. Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. They always claim like it's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. It's fine. Whatever. Eight of Cups. You know what your person is saying. They do always return when they need something. Six of Cups right here. Um, it feels like every time they break up with you or separate with you, there are people or friends who would tell them, like, you know you're going to be back with them. I feel like that's a subject for them, not for you. So then they come back to you again because they're stressed, they need love, they need affection, they need support. So your person is on and off with regards to having an emotional bond with you, Sag. It can be a Leo, the Queen of Cups, or a Cancerian. They do know how to say, oh, I'm sorry if I wasn't like that. They have their, I feel like they're very sensitive then. Because they're emotionally sensitive, Eight of Cups, and scared to express their feelings. And then the Queen of Cups is here. Your person keeps sharing or keeps expressing, because the Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups is here. Okay, like they keep sharing and expressing, no, I still want us, I just don't know what to do. Okay, so there's a nervousness on their end, there's too much cards. 
they're nervous about this connection. Mm -hmm. And it comes underneath the lover's card. So very nervous. Okay. It feels like every time things become serious and more involved, they detach and they just they leave or they get cold feet and say oh i can't do this i can't do this i'm suffocated this is too much i can't handle it mm -hmm. so this is what your person is saying so it could be like they have intimacy issues that's one mm. two of swords with them so they're in a crossroads you guys have separated but it's actually them who walk away. You're still hopeful that they're going to come back. You guys haven't been in touch with each other. Five of Pentacles. And then the Two of Swords here showing that they're not... Right now, they cannot agree with you. Something about the direction of the relationship. You guys are not seeing each other eye to eye there. And actually, you're stuck with it. The hangman. Because it's not a yes, it's not a no. But it's like a maybe. Maybe we can be together. Maybe there's a future for us. But I just don't know the answer right now. This is what your person is saying, Eight of Cups. They don't know the answer. But then they keep saying, like, but I do have feelings for you, Queen of Cups. Okay. Let's see. Let's ask questions. For people who are in separation... Because you get a tower. Let's ask about the connection and how, you know, it will manifest for reconciliation. That's a six of cups. Let's see that. Okay. Then we're going to go for the lovers. Let's ask about um, if this is your soulmate, will the two of you be together? Okay. Let's see that. Okay. For people who wants to move on, you have the tower. If your person has moved on already. If this is your question, have they moved on? Yes, let's ask that. The no contact, no communication, five of pentacles. If the two of you will come back in communication. If your person has walked away with the eight of cups, let's see. Okay. Why they emotionally detach? And is it worth it fighting for? The hangman is here because you're stuck in this connection, maybe married or in a long term relationship, and you feel yourself, you feel like you're stuck. So that's a grand reveal. I answer all those questions in the extended reading. Let me see, Oracle here. Ooh. Oh, see what I have to say? It's interesting because you do have the Five of Pentacles, right? Mm -hmm. No contact, but there's a message in a bottle. The oracle says here, if you are waiting for someone to reach out, be ready. They're about to deliver a message. And this message, basically, that's the this card, will dictate where the relationship will be headed. That's a message in a bottle. Let's find out more. Link in the description box below for the extended reading. I'll see you there.